Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my new video. I'm coming with a tutorial for a pumpkin shaped card. It may look complicated, but believe me, it is super easy to create the card and the card base. You will need a over cutting die. My die is about 13 by 9 centimeter, but you may have a taller or wider die. It still will be okay. Just your card base will be slightly different, different shape than mine. I have A4 card of uh, craft paper and also I die cut already five um, ovals which will be used later with the pattern paper. I will attach pattern paper to the ovals to have like thicker layers. For my top layers I will be using the papers from Stamperia. This is actually Christmas collection. It's called Winter Valley but it has a lot of browns with different texture and I just love these colors. So again I die cut five ovals using the same die, two darker, two lighter and one, um, the fifth one, with a different texture. And you can, um, I like my pumpkin to be quite symmetrical, but you can position the ovals in um, different ways. Darker colors on the bottom or darker colors on the top, uh, you can make the pumpkin wider or uh, bring the ovals closer to each other then the pumpkin will be not as wide. The fifth circle is slightly too big to to add to the base so I'm going to use the same die and uh, die cut it again where I place the die slightly off the um, of one side and then cutting the other side make it smaller oval and then it's slightly pointy on the top and on the bottom so I will just use the scissors to round it. Then I'm trying the shape again and I made my final decision to have the uh, lighter ovals on the bottom and then darker uh, on the top of the lighter ones and then the fifth one of course in the middle. Now I will adhere each layer of pattern paper to the brown cardstock and then I'm going to ink each uh, layer using the vintage photo ink. I'm using the brown, if you will be creating this card in different colors just use a different ink, matching to your pattern paper. Then I positioned my ovals the way I want to have the base and I marked on the sides roughly to know where I need to attach uh, like ovals to each other. The bottom ovals are almost uh, touching each other so there will be a very little gap between them and then I will add another layer on top and then for the fifth um, ovals I'm going to use double-sided foam pads. So uh, four layers just with the glue, I mean four ovals with the glue and the last one with um, some distance. And then I will not add uh, any foam pads on the very top of the oval because later there will be a top of the pumpkin which is called, <laughs> I don't know how, maybe a stem. Once we've got that, I'm going back to my folded cardstock and I will uh, place the pumpkin slightly over the folding line and, tr and trace the shape of it to the cardstock. And then I will cut it out with the scissors and this way we will have a card base. To 
create a little stem I'm using another piece of brown cardstock. I will draw a stem shape. <laughs> My drawing is not great, but anyway, it's, you know, doesn't need to be perfect. And then I will uh, adhere it to pattern paper and cut it out. And then I have that little uh, piece to stick on top of the pumpkin. To decorate the card I will use one doily, few handmade flowers, I've got a little piece of uh, lace, few die-cut leaves, one die-cut swirl, sizzle, <laughs> twine, bows and few berries. As these are my usual embellishments, you will find them on most of my um, projects. So I will leave you for a few minutes to see how I created the composition. When I was looking for a sentiment, I also found uh, cute little tags. So I'm going to attach the sentiment to a tag first and then I will adhere it to the card. I'm going also to add one wooden pearl and then I will splat everything with white acrylic paint mixed with water. And this will be it actually. <laughs> I want to thank you very, very much for joining me today. I hope you like the idea of making the pumpkin card out of ovals and I also want to tell you that you can make actually um, autumn decoration with it. It doesn't need to be a card. I'm going to make a pumpkin out of the cardboard using exactly the same technique. So thanks a lot for watching and have a lovely creative day. Bye bye!